once when you created the table next you have to insert data in the table so data will you insert you have to go with the insert query it is insert into keyword no change whenever you want to insert data insert into table name employee then what values you are going to insert so this is keyword insert into table name values it's a keyword and uh, uh, say when you're inserting values if it is uh, integer say number is an integer data type right so no need to give course you can just give a number comma next column should be name what is next column name is the character so you give it in quotes like this satish comma so next column is address so you should follow this order first column is id second column is uh, name third column is address address what is that address is uh, say uh, Mumbai. Then close the quotes, comma. And then salary, it's a type number. So I just give. So what all things you have to take care of uh, here is you have to mention things in an order. One, two, three, four. And the number of columns also should match here. One, two, three, four. So first comes ID, next comes name, third comes address, and fourth comes salary. Only when you have this in this order, record will be inserted. What all issues we can get in the insert query? Major issue is uh, I will be trying to insert uh, a character without closing the quotes. Satish is what uh, is declared name is where care. I may not give quotes and I'll try to insert and uh, that will uh, lead to an error. Column not allowed here. This error you'll get because you didn't have quotes. Uh, and how will you fix that? You just check whether you have quotes. Another common mistake is uh, we'll have uh, four columns in the table. We'll try to insert only three columns like this. If you just try to insert like this. So it will say not enough values. See, what is this not enough values? I'm inserting only for three columns, but the number of columns in my table is four. So you have to insert for all the four columns. If you're not really happy inserting for the fourth column, you can just uh, uh, insert a null value like this. So it will take and insert a null value. One, two, four, some other record with a null value. Ram, Chennai. So that's all. But you cannot uh, skip entering uh, anything. I mean, uh, you cannot skip this entirely then you'll get not enough values. Another common mistake uh, students might do is to forget a comma. So if you forget a comma, not enough values because it considers this entire thing to be a column. So you have three values entered for four columns. These are common mistakes in the insert and um, other very famous mistake I have seen throughout the years, uh, which is very, very common for any student. Let me tell you what is that. Uh, so I'll just say salary year, I'll enter some value, say 3000. Another very, very common mistake. Instead of values, you give value. I have one, one common mistake I've already seen, select keyword. So this is the error. So many a times, you know, I've seen so many students have called me, sir, I'm typing some error with the system. System is not fine. <laughs> And then when I look at it, even sometimes I may be wondering what the issue is. It will be just an yes here. So insert into, even you can't sp give space here, immediately an issue, it's all syntax. Okay, so uh, you have to be very careful, you know, how it, how these things uh, come is only through practice. You have to just keep on typing the queries. So not enough values, what is the issue here? Comma is missing. So, so create. I think difficult to practice, right? It's easy. Okay, so this is a very simple uh, insert and create table commands. And uh, one thing is, should I write insert query every time like this? Uh, uh, is there an easy way to insert uh, multiple records? Yes, for that we can use this strategy. We can do the same thing, insert into employee values. And then you can very well give. Now, instead of giving ID uh, values directly, I will just give ambassand ID. 
and the next field is ampersand name next field is ampersand address next field is ampersand select i'm not giving the values directly i'm just giving it uh, like this and there's one more thing i'm going to do whichever that is character here i give that in quotes so name is character quotes address is character i'll do that in quotes you'll see what is the benefit of this for this uh, we have to uh, See, when you press enter, it will ask you for the ID. Say I will uh, enter some ID, 126. Name is Chris and address is US. Salary, say you get some $200, something like this. So once when you enter a record and then press enter, it inserted, right? The benefit is if I give a backslash now, it will again execute the previous query. So it is enter value so now no need to now again type or worry about the quotes or anything i can just uh, give uh, the next id 127 maybe parker the name and then address uk and salary three thousand dollars likewise again if i want to insert a record in the same table i can give a backslash but the important thing is do not execute any other query select query or anything because backslash will just execute the previous query. If you execute any other query, then this will uh, not work. So you just give backslash. Then you see again, you enter a 128. Uh, uh, you can say in address is uh, UK. Some salary will give for 5000. Oh, see how easily I have inserted records. So select star from employee. Yeah. So easily you have records and every time you make changes to the database, commit the changes. Always just whenever you have time, you just give commit. So that the data in the uh, cache uh, will be flush to the hard disk. That is the concept here. You may not lose data on power failures or anything. So everything is made durable on commit. So. Uh, basic queries now after inserting what we can do uh, this is like uh, the employees have been registered now we can go with select queries or we can search them right how can you search uh, uh, say i want to find the profile information of this registration number right so i have to search using a registration number likewise i can search using an employee id so this will be the query select star from employee where id is equal to say i give one two three so this is a syntax select this uh, keyword star is again a syntax from is keyword employee is the table from which you are going to search where is the condition id is the column name is equal to the value i'm searching for that is 123 so if i enter i'll get only the data of employee 123 say sometimes uh, no need to bring all the data from the table i just want to bring name and address how will i bring it select name comma i want to show only two columns name comma address from employee where id is equal to 123 now this will just fetch only name and address for this employee if i just give select name comma address from employee what will happen? It will fetch name and address for all the employees. So you can also project columns. You can filter rows. Here we are filtering rows by using a simple where condition. So that is, uh, say you can also use where conditions with uh, relational operators. You have, you have relational operators, right? Greater than, uh, less than, less than, equal to, not equal to. These are relational operators and uh, equal to so you you can also fetch data using relational operators for instance uh, uh, fetch me all the employees uh, with salary greater than ten thousand how can i do that it is select star means fetch all the columns from employee where what is the column name i'm going to compare salary greater than and then you give ten thousand I'll say give thousand. Let's see, and you have to end it to the semicolon. So you you see it has filtered all the employees with salary greater than thousand. 
very very simple sql is the only subject i enjoyed while i was doing my engineering <laughs> it was an uh, so interesting you know when compared to other subjects i had this was like okay sounds easy so i don't know maybe that connection is making me teach uh, sql again and again so select staff from employee where salary is greater than 1000 likewise you have a less than operator less than equal to say less than uh, whoever is getting salary less than equal to 1000 oh, i should not miss that semi call so this chris poor guy has got 2200 dollars salary so that is how you use and also you have not equal to say uh, select all the employees whose salary is uh, not equal to 200 So only Chris is having two hundred, right? So all the employees whose salary not equal to two hundred. So except Chris, you see all the other employees were fetched. So this uh, condition where salary relational operator and then the value. Say I want to fetch an uh, user using a character data type. Fetch the details of uh, this guy Satish. How can I do that? Select star from employee where name the column name is equal to. Now I have to give it in quotes because it is character data. Okay. Uh, simple select. We have done many things. Uh, now uh, we have done select. We have done insert. We have done create. How easy it is. we can also do further things say i want to fetch all the users whose name start with an s sometimes you don't know the name of the professor his name i know it starts with an s but what is his name can perform this select staff from employee where name like like is a keyword here select staff from is a syntax table name where is syntax column name like now you have to give in quotes it starts with yes so i give yes and then percentage then quotes and then close it now it fetches all the data of employees whose name starts with an yes yeah likewise fetch me the data of all the employees whose name ends with an h how can you know you know you would have guessed it it's very simple percentage h so it 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 just pat matches this pattern in the name column and it retrieves those employees and uh, suppose i want to retrieve all the employees whose name start with a t and end with a m so it starts with a t right and it ends with an m so now you can see uh, tom and tim being fetched the pattern because whatever tom tim tam over it is they would be brought in but you see when i do select star from employee uh it didn't retrieve tom capital tom because there the case sensitivity works it will just match the lower case it will not worry about the upper case so that is the use of a like operator there is also called between say i want to bring all the employees whose salary is between uh say uh, 3000 and 5000 or else uh, 1000 and 5000 we can have so we we'll have between 1000 and 5000 we have four employees right how will you fetch that range select staff from employee per a salary between 1000 and 5000 so the key here is you have to give between the lower range and the upper range now you enter you'll get those four employees so 5000 is also included 1000 if somebody has it will also be included so between we have also achieved uh, mm, there is one employee without a salary how to fetch his details bring me the details of employee without a salary how can you do that so for that this is null value inserted right what you can do is you can fetch like this select uh, like, staff from employee where salary is null so what does that mean here we should not say this is another common mistake we should not give where salary equal to null when you are working with null is null 
So now we are able to fetch. OK, I'm not interested in employees with salary as null values. Bring me all the employees whose salary is not null. Then just go and give NOT. It's done. We can also delete. Say I don't like this uh, Satish at all. So let's delete him. We'll go with delete from table. That is employee table. Where is the keyword? Where name is equal to? I'll just give Satish. So it'll delete. That's it. And you go to select staff from employee. You may not see this person again. Likewise, you can also delete using multiple conditions. Delete from employee where name is equal to Satish and address is equal to Chennai something. Like that. Say if I want to delete uh, using multiple conditions, I can delete from employee. All the employees uh, where whose address is Chennai. Address is equal to Chennai. Let's remove all these guys from Chennai. And uh, if they are from Chennai and uh, they get a salary of 3000 or 30,000, we'll say, then delete them. Let me stop screen sharing. 